So hi, this is Bastian. This is a video response to a video called Stepping Out and Singing. And this is really a very cool vlog and a very cool reminder to test yourself to what extent you are painting images of yourself and your personality, how much you are trying to um, to act a role in order to be seen or perceived as this image that you have about yourself, of yourself in your mind, which you create in your mind. And um, I see it in my daily life that there are many occasions where I am comparing myself, my actions, my words, my reactions to an image that I created of myself in my mind. And uh, within this comparison, I begin to judge myself and to limit myself. I restrict myself. And this is really troublesome because it requires very much resources of your life. It requires very much time thoughts and you hold back suppression all this is uh, due to this comparison of your of that what actually should be your self expression in every breath as yourself as the representation of what you really are um, and in fact you are trying to cut out an image um, of yourself to form an image that is based on judgments, emotions, memories combined with emotions, um, images that you took from movies, from experiences with other persons, people in your life and um, you try to fit into an ideal that you made up that you created in your mind that you want to be perceived as and in fact um, the more you try to be that role and that image um, could possibly be that the more you try to do this the more you will be perceived as a very insecure uh, person and people might not really know what who they are talking to and who they are dealing with so because you are not yourself you are constantly trying to um, represent an image and the other thing is um, that's why this vlog is in English uh, for me um, that I'm I have a great resistance to do vlogs in English because um, I feel I'm not good enough at, at this, in speaking English. And I feel I'm not able to make myself clear and to be understood. Um, actually, it is a self-limitation, of course, because obviously you, if it's not your mother tongue, you cannot speak English like you're speaking uh, like I'm speaking German because uh, this is not what I learned as a language and but the only way to really learn it is to speak it to, to do it and like it is in every other case like in this video to overcome your resistances and your fears you have to face them and you have to do it you have to walk through it and um, the uh, amount of self-limitation all this uh, self-judgment and comparison brings uh, with it is uh, amazing because you will you will cut yourself off of life of your self-expressions of yourself for example the destiny life hangouts uh, for for many t for a long time I, I would really like to participate 
um, in a Google Live Hangout with uh, discussing, for example, movies from a dystonian perspective. And I limit myself and I resist because um, I feel not good enough. I feel I'm not good enough uh, in speaking English and I will mess this whole discussion up because I'm not good, good enough to do it. And uh, that's not very important if I do it or not, but it is in fact a self-limitation and uh, it creates inner conflict and I'm in conflict with myself when I am watching these hangouts. I feel this urge to to ask a question or to give a give a hint on something where I think uh, there might be more that's a point that might be worth investigating in this movie or or topic or anything and um, I judge myself for not being able to do this or not having done it or not even having tried to participate. Um, that is the fear of failure, which is of course an inferior, inferiority uh, point um, where you f fear to be judged by others, which is <clears throat> actually in fact for yourself, own self, your self esteem and your self expression shouldn't be very much important. But it is, as long as you give in to this fear and you don't um, go out, face it, walk through it, and um, dissolve it. So stepping out and singing is a very cool example, and it's a very cool um, presentation. And um, thank you very much for this video, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video response and hopefully see this is an interesting point I said hopefully and in the same time I stopped myself I, my thoughts stopped and I stopped myself it was an immediate judgment because in German I don't use the word hope very much, very rare, rarely, because hope is something that I have uh, that I have judged as something that is not good. Um, this is a point that I will have to investigate within myself why I give this word such a value and such. Um, energetic potential and um, as I when I said hopefully I wanted to say that I will do more vlogs in English in order to train myself to practice and uh, to go walk myself through this fear of failure and I will uh, set myself a goal to participate in a Google Live Hangout, in a Destiny Google Live Hangout. Um, and yes, I started this with hopefully, because hopefully is in English language uh, a word that sounds, to me sounds good and uh, it is good to, to uh, position it at, a, at the beginning of a sentence or uh, this is a phrase, it is a slogan. It has, it has the character of a slogan, so that's why I use this word hopefully, not because I wanted it to, to use it. Um, it was not um, a conscious and aware decision, it was just, it came out without uh, me really deciding to use this word. But in the same moment I judged myself for using the word hopefully interesting point. Um, in, in another vlog I would have cut this out of the video. I will leave it in um, because it fits into the topic 
of stepping out and singing, facing you fears and exposing your self-created images of yourself to yourself. Thank you very much.